My Neighbor Totoro, finally another Studio Ghibli review, and yes, you see right there, I have my own little Totoro joining me today for this review. I would have held him, but honestly that would have been a little too distracting for me, I would have just been looking at him like, oh my god, you are so adorable. So I'm just gonna put him up there for right now. Written and directed by the master himself, Hayao Miyazaki, the film follows uh, two daughters named Satsuki and Mei, and they're the daughters of a professor. They just moved into a new house to be closer to their mother, who's currently in the hospital for... uh, reasons unknown? Right after they move, they begin to interact with a bunch of uh, friendly spirits, including a woodland spirit called a Totoro. The film was released in 1988 and did not get a Disney English dub reissue until 2006. And I point that out because that tends to happen with Studio Ghibli films. Or at least that's my understanding. My understanding is that they release the films in Japan and we Americans don't see it in English for years to come. Hell, most of the time we don't even get uh, Japanese subbed versions of them. But in this dub, we have a fantastic voice cast with two leads, with the two leads, the girls being played by the Fanning sisters, uh, Dakota and Nell. Uh, we also have Timothy Daly, Lay Sonia, and Pat Carroll. Satsuki and Mei are just the most adorable little girls, so lifelike. And Satsuki's a little bit older, but still young enough to have a very active imagination. And it helps in um, in her chemistry with her sister, uh, Mei, who is just the cutest because when they begin to explore the house, they start coming up with stories mostly referring to the house as haunted. Not in a scary movie type of way, but in a surprisingly cute way. And the casting of the sisters is actually ingenious, and I believe that's because they're not just fellow cast members, they're not fr really friends, they're actually sisters, and it pays off uh, to see them or to hear them play off of each other so well. And the story is fantastic as well. It's not like Spirited Away where it deals with a lot of grown-up themes and there's just symbolism plastered all over the place. It's... This can definitely be seen more as a kid's movie, and that's not a bad thing. I love the innocent feel of the movie. The film, I feel, perfectly captures the adventurous and carefree feeling of childhood. Under the surface, there is the feeling of fear, because the girls obviously worry about their mother, and at that point you could argue that the spirit is just in their imagination, or the spirit being Totoro and everybody else, and that they use their imagination to help cope with stress. Because true, at first, uh, they seem to appear after the girls go to sleep, but as the film progresses, they begin to appear more and more as the girls are awake. And I just have to comment on Totoro himself, the Studio Ghibli mascot. Some would even uh, say that Pikachu is the Japanese Mickey Mouse. And as much as I love Pikachu, this bastard deserves to be the Japanese Mickey Mouse. He is just an amazing just and magical creature who, who can make plants grow at will, and he flies on a spinning top. There's way more uh, that he can do than what I just said, but I'd rather newbies to the Ghibli experience, or at least um, Studio Ghibli fans who have not seen My Neighbor Totoro yet, to experience those things firsthand. But I will say he's basically a big teddy bear. He doesn't speak except to basically grunt out his own name, but personally, I love him. This is one of those films that's really good, but has grown such a following that the hype can actually hurt the film, but it really didn't for me. And the reason why was because I didn't really go in expecting anything other than to just simply enjoy myself. And I really did. The film doesn't focus much on story until about maybe the third act. It focuses more on um, characters as well as their development and the atmosphere all around. And the lack of story actually works pretty well. The story does kick up in the third act, as I mentioned, but it does come across as a bit shoehorned in. And uh, though it doesn't really take away from my experience, I do actually count that as a flaw. My Neighbor Totoro is not a big epic movie like Spirited Away or even, I don't know, I really haven't seen many Studio Ghibli films. Maybe Princess Mononoke? Well, it's just a simple film that feels like a fun and laid-back summer day. You know, you're out of school, and you can just do whatever you want, and that's part of its charm. Just know that if you want a big epic fantasy or something with a bit of action, you may be a bit disappointed. 
And as I always say with Studio Ghibli films, the animation is top notch. I believe that Studio Ghibli has given us some of the best hand-drawn animation ever, and it just doesn't get enough attention, and that actually really, that really irks me. For My Neighbor Totoro, the art style is very simplistic, especially with the backgrounds, but it's extremely appropriate for this kind of childhood fantasy sort of thing. The score is composed once again by Joe Hisaishi, and it's, it's another great. I just love every score of his that I've heard so far. The score un utilizes synthesizers and gives the film a bit of a bouncy, fun sound. And he just does a great job with balancing out the upbeat and fun tracks with a slow, wistful uh, tone in most of the other pieces, as well as uh, varied tones of mystery and wonder. And just like the film itself, Hisashi's uh, score perfectly captures that childish uh, or childhood adventure feeling and carefree nature. To recap, My Neighbor Totoro is a great animated film with great characters, realistic voice performances from the Fanning Sisters, a cute and engaging story that focuses on character and atmosphere rather than story, simple but beautiful animation, and just another great musical composi uh, composition from the studio and even though I didn't I did have a problem with that little hiccup in the story at the very end I still think this is a really good movie and I'm going to give my neighbor Totoro 4.5 out of 5 reels thank you guys so much for watching and just listening to me ramble on and on um, please subscribe for more uh, reviews and content if you haven't already and for other ways to help support the channel please check out in the description down below also, just to remind you guys, if you didn't already know, I do have a poll up on the on the Facebook ch uh, page for this channel, and it's mainly just to help you guys uh, help me, or get you guys to help me. I don't. Okay, I'm I'm rambling a little bit, but anyway, it's just a list of movies that I really want to review, but I don't know which ones to do next, or I really haven't found the inspiration to really say yes, I want to do it now. So, yeah, just go on there, um, vote for whichever movie you want me to do next, and then whenever it actually ends in, like, a week or so, then I will start doing those reviews immediately, or at least as soon as possible. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and farewell until the next video. Bye.